Okay, here you go guys. I promised you I'd get you a video of my conveyor uh, while it was working. Uh, as you can see, I opted out for a rotisserie motor. The uh, gear motor that I had, the AC gear motor, I couldn't gear it down slow enough. Now we have to get the conveyor belt to, to travel and take the t-shirt underneath the oven so that it takes about three minutes for it to pass through the oven and that's at about 250 to 350 degrees depending on whether or not you're doing a water-based t-shirt or if you're going to be doing a, a DTG uh, printed t-shirt and that's uh, the edge of the t-shirt entering here and it has to come out here that same edge has to reach this end here in three minutes with this gearing it's it's exactly at that right now and I didn't have to put the uh, uh, the dimmer switch uh, to alternate the power on this at all it's just absolutely perfect so I highly recommend that you go this way now I this model was a uh, it was a uh, it was a piece of uh, junk that a friend gave me he had a there was a couple of them and I like this one because it came with a nice bracket that I could actually bolt to the 2x4 and so I'm gonna I'm gonna look around and see if I can't locate this one now you can see I've got a 3 8 inch rod that I'm running in there when you when you get your rotisserie motor you're gonna notice that the rod that fits in there is a square rod basically what I did is I took a, a 3 8 inch drill bit and I and I carefully very carefully drilled that out and I glued that rod in there with some JR steel uh, or JL weld. It's a kind of uh, a bonding uh, uh, cement, and it's uh, like 3,000 psi, you know, rated. It's absolutely incredible stuff. Now, for my rollers, all I did is I used PVC, and I cut out bores out of you know. Uh, out of a PVC and I use that on the ends and I just use the the PVC glue to seal the ends and they've got holes in them and you can see I've just got bolts holding them on here and of course all of the ones all the way through except for the drive rod are, are that way and actually some of them aren't even really making good contact okay so uh, then on this end here, uh, I used the, uh, I used a 3 8 inch rod and I ran it all the way through the drive rod. And you can see how I'm, I'm controlling the tension on the ends on both sides. And all I did was right here on the ends, I just took a hacksaw blade and I, and I just kind of cut a little uh, ridge all along the outside of it so that I can get one of these pins. And you could buy those at uh, Home Depot or, or whatever. Another thing uh, you'll notice is on this end, I cut out a little slot so that I could take the thing in and out so that it, it, it's, it's easy to get, uh, get off if I need to, if I need to, to service the belt. Uh, real quick before it goes underneath, you can see there's, this is where the two ends meet. And all that, all that is is a high temp silicone gasket seal that I purchased from uh, the uh, AutoZone. And uh, the, the stuff is absolutely phenomenal. It, 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 it uh, will, will hold that together like cement. It's flexible and it'll take the heat. So it, that's really worked out as a great product. Okay, now uh, subsequently you will see uh, some plans that I, I promised you on how to build this oven. It's not really a complicated uh, uh, thing to make. Uh, some details you have to pay attention to. Specifically, we're concerned about the heat. This material here is called thermo thermo. Oh goodness gracious! I'm able to say it now. Thermo thermotex. It's a sheathing material. And it's it's uh, it's got a high R factor and is uh, it can take up to 250 degrees of heat. Now our our bulbs are right just right at the level of this, so we're not getting the full amount of heat on the sides to begin with. So that's really not too much of a concern. 
first you can see we have the forced air coming in here and that forced air uh, also helps to keep the heat going downward and of course it's coming out the sides. Alright, uh, I'm going to cut off here pretty soon. I'm going to be doing some tests. I'm going to uh, run some shirts through at this. I've got it at about three inches right here and I'm going to see if I can scorch my shirts. Uh, there's some old junk t-shirts. I'm not too worried about it. If they don't scorch and uh, if the heat test comes in, uh, comes out at uh, 250, because that's, that's what I'm doing water-based inks right now, uh, I'll be very pleased with this whole product and, uh, and I'm coming to a conclusion on this right now. Okay, so there it is. Let me step back and let you guys see it. Right now you can see it barely moving. Matter of fact, sometimes it's so slow I, I have to stop and think maybe that the uh, motor has seized on me, but it's not, and it's it's doing its job. So I'm going to step back so that you can see the whole unit. There it is. That's the whole unit right there, guys. Okay, thanks for your patience, and uh, I'm uh, I'm open for any questions that you have.